What is going on, all you pleasant boob tubers out there? It's Matt with Beardius Gaming coming at you with episode 15, I think, at this point of a Fallout Oon, uh, where we last left off. We had completed our main objective, but oddly enough, the game didn't end. Nope. In fact, it uh, was a false. It's a it's a false ending. It's a red herring. We returned our water chip to the vault after going down to Necropolis, slaughtering a city full of innocent zombies and uh, stealing their goods. Came back and uh, the, the vault overseer said, well, you know, that was good and all. However, there's an army of mutants out there and you're the only one who can stop them. Um, seems a little thin, but now I believe where we had... Uh, my plan was to head back to the hub since there's a bustling metropolis down there, a lot of ins, a lot of outs, so let's get to it. Without much further ado, so let's traverse the wastes yet again, Looking south across the mountainous wastes of northern and southern California. I think this is, yeah, this takes all place in California. The vaults, um, shady sands, that's after the war, junk town, um, the hub, I don't know, maybe the hub was built after the war as well. But, um, Necropolis is actually, I think it's either Barstow or Bakersfield. Um, group of guardsmen on patrol, so I'm all right, I'm unarmed. Poor Harold, he's had a rough life. I know that damn thief circles around here somewhere. Keep your nose clean. Watch your back, this isn't a safe place. I know that. All right. So these guys, these are just police officers patrolling around the hub, patrolling the perimeter, doing a little patro uh, perimeter check. So let's keep on, let's keep on, keep it on here. All right, terrific. The hub. Let's hit downtown up, since the entrance doesn't really have much for us. All right. So we got the we got the caravans, we got the crimson caravans over here, and we dropped Ian off because he has somehow managed to avoid his fate. Yet dog meat has not and where's uh then we got the fargo traders and we got the water merchants those are the big three um they are the big three and now we got the friendly lending company let's see what this is all about actually now that we got in here let's save it so we've traveled 40 days and 40 nights here and who's this? Lorenzo. Well, if it is a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo the Munificent at your service. I give out loans. Only 10% daily interest, a maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution in the, anywhere in the hub. Actually, I was hoping you'd share some information. Well, I suppose. What do you need to know? What about the local police? They're great guys. It's true we have the occasional misunderstanding, but I think they're a credit to their species. So to Vose. Whichever one that is. Misunderstandings, like what? Can you believe someone accused me of extortion? Fortunately, my good friend Decker set them straight. Tell me about Decker. He's a great guy. A good source of jobs to pay off my loans. Tell him I sent you. You might get a bonus. Bonus? What do you mean? Well, maybe not a bonus, but he's a great guy. Trust me on that one. What about the children of the cathedral? I can't say I'm too impressed. I run an honest, respectable business, and they accuse me of being a thief. The nerve of those people. They think a vow of poverty gives them the right to judge me. A vow of poverty. I'll bet their leader, this Morpheus character, he's just a bro- he's just bro- he's not broke. No, sir, I'll bet that over in the boneyard, he's just living it up. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a respectable businessman, that's all. We Giovannis have been respectable businessmen since the days before the Holocaust. Now that's tradition. What's your idea of respectable? If you don't show us respect, you get hurt. How much more respectability can a man ask for? Where does a person find work around here? You should try Mr. Decker. Exciting work at great prices. The best in town. And he's just across the street. You can't get better convenience than that. What kind of excitement? Adventure, danger, you can really make a killing. Well, bye. See you around, pal. Alright, let's see if we can get a loan. Alright, I came for a loan. Fine, you have no loans outstanding with us. 
We land in units of 200 hub bucks with a maximum of 1,000 hub bucks. Remember though, I'm not going to lend you the big bucks until you've proven you can repay the smaller loans. I'd like 200 hub bucks. Fine, 200 bucks. You've got 10 days to repay it. All right, we're going to repay that right now. Hi, so you've come to pay off your loan? I want to pay off my loan of 200 bucks. Fine, a pleasure doing business. Anything else? I came for another loan. Okay, so he just repeats that. Now we can get a loan for 400. Let's do that. Another loan, 600. Maximum 1,000. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. All right. Now, obviously, he's a loan shark. So, let's do society a favor. He's going to make a runner for it because he just, he just took... Whoa. Taicho getting, getting rowdy. Fucking Big T getting rowdy with a sniper rifle. Whoa. I've just about had enough of this. There we go. Take that, you son of a bitch. Mm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, good. Woo! Shit. Reload it. We got eight. Eight six to burst, right? Eight. Let's get down to two. Yeah. Wow. Was that not close or what? Holy shit. Use a stimp on us. I was gonna get rid of Taicho, but you know what? With the way these things are panning out, let's uh, let's hang on to them for a little bit longer. All right, where'd uh, where'd Lorenzo go? Let's see. I'll take that. I don't need. I don't really need the ammo. Ten mil has since passed its usefulness. So get away from me, you goddamn hobo. I will definitely take that though, and the caps, and that. And you know what, let's take the pistol too. I'm just thinking in the long run, you know what I'm saying? Okay, nope, nope, he's got nothing. So let's see, let's raid. Let's raid his desk. Nothing. Alright. What about your bookshelves? Do you have any fine reading tomes available? That's some BS. 
So let's offload some stuff onto Taicho. Somehow I'm at my max here. Let's give you the plasma pistol. I gotta read those books. Those are probably crimping my style. Let's give you all that ammo. And that. And then offer. God damn right it's a good trade. Don't you be doubting me, Big T. You just killed my dog. You're lucky you're even in my party. I really contemplated just kicking him out just for out of vindictive sake. Just to be vindictive. Alright, let's read these books because they're taking up space and wait. I actually don't even know if space is a matter of factor. I think it's mostly weight, so we're just taking up weight. boost up our survival skill. Which, you know, I mean, it kind of makes sense in the long run. You know, he does, in the, uh, in the, in the lore, um, the Vault Dweller does become a bit of a bamf in terms of wilderness survival, so um, even though he's not mentioned, Taicho is not mentioned in the Vault Dweller memoirs. I think he would have hung out with him just to gain a little bit of the uh, the old wisdom, Taicho's ranger wisdom. All right. All right. Let's take all these caps. Oh, goody caps! Two thousand caps. Mm mm mm. get out of here. So Reeve, again, we're doing our civic duty here. Doing our civic duty. Uh, get it? So, mm, mm. alright, so we got that. Let's go harass Iguana Bob here. Just because he's, he's, a, he's, out, he's, just, he's selling bits of human body as Iguana. Hi, welcome to Bob's Iguana Bits, the family eating place. Can I take your order? I think we need to talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredients. What are you talking about? Your secret ingredients. How fresh does a corpse have to be before it develops a bitter aftertaste? Do you use mutants, humans, or a mix? Not so loud. I don't need you saying that all over the hub. You know, the police station is just across the street. I really should take a little walk. Wait a minute, we've got to find a way to reach a mutual understanding. Sorry, no deal. I'd change my mind if I were you, friend. People have died for less in the hub. I'm not going to extort him because... That would just that would indicate that I'm okay with him slinging body parts. So let's see. Oh, let's check this out. Bulletin board. Let's take a look at the bulletin board. Need work? The Fargo traders are currently filling for the following positions. 1. Caravan guards. Must be in good physical condition and dependable. 2. Special position. Must be observant and willing to travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Inquire with Rutger at the Fargo trader's office. Alright, let's go see what the Fargo traders have for us. So let's go talk to the cops, too. Let's see what the coppers have to say. What's the sheriff got to say? Hello, sir. The name's Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. Is there something I can do for you this fine day? You're doing a fine job. Well, thank you. We try our best. It's really tough in a city this size, but we do the best we can with what we've got. It's hard when the thugs have better firepower than you do. Just stopping by. See ya. Alright, I thought he'd be anxious to rid the criminal underworld, but he seems to be content to sit on his laurels. Alright, 
Let's go check out the Fargo Traders. Who's this Yahoo Rutger? Hello and welcome to the Fargo Traders. How may we help you? I'm here about that job that you posted. You're looking for work? I've heard good things about you. We can always use someone of your reputation. Go on in and talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. Who's this Yahoo? Oh, he's just a driver. Teamster. Let's what do you want? I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Yes. Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. Wait, I have questions about this job first. <sighs> Don't spoil it. Make them quick. Uh, what's the job? Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. So what do you want me to do? Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Any clues on who's doing this? Well, there's, uh, <clears throat> something, but I never listen to those rumors. Well, I do. What is it? You, uh, you really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the Death Claw, but, but I don't know nothing about that. How can I find out about the Death Claw? How do you... Go talk to Beth. She knows more about that crap. I'll go check it out. Done and done. Now get on out of here. But come back and talk to me when you found something. Thanks, Butch. The job pays 500 hub bucks when you can tell Butch exactly what has been happening to all the caravans that have disappeared recently. So collect any proof you might find. I personally think it's those damn water merchants. Or those gun freaks at the Brotherhood of Steel. Butch thinks it's some claw of death or something. Check with Beth. She would know about that. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? They are really strange. They worship technology or something like that. They have a hell of a lot of firepower. They could easily take out a caravan. They're to the northwest. What do you know about the Death Claw? Oh yeah, Death Claw. Whatever. They're all crazy. It's just people's imagination getting carried away. There's no ghost or monster or whatever it's supposed to be. Just stick with reality and you'll be fine. Where's Beth? Beth's right out that door and to the right. She runs our weapon shop. Tell her you're working for us and she'll give you a 15% discount. Thanks. Alright, let's go talk to a little, little Beth Ann here. I don't know if that's her middle name, but I think it sounds good. Looks like she's got some heavies outside the door. This chick's got a shoddy. Or a hunting rifle. You know, these things blend together in these games. All right, come here, honey. Hi there, how can I help you? Can I ask you some questions? Of course you can, don't be silly. What's the word on the street about the missing caravans? Some people think the water merchants are responsible, but I don't think so. I think it was that darn death claw, or maybe the people over at the Brotherhood of Steel. Why don't you think it's the water merchants? Because like I've been telling everyone, they've had a few caravans disappear too. Nothing like what's happening to the Fargo traders, but they are being affected. Why would it happen to the Fargo traders more than the others? Bad luck? I don't know. Maybe they're traveling along different routes than the others. Maybe because they aren't as heavily guarded as the Crimson Caravans, but they might have better cargo than the water merchants. Who knows? It doesn't seem to make any clear difference between the three. Another question about the missing caravans. What exactly is a Death Claw? The Death Claw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes after the war. Some say it's a powerful ghost from the war that haunts the land. It's no ghost. It's as real as you and me. It's 20 feet tall with teeth as big as your arm. It's some kind of demon that found its way here when the world was engulfed in flame. Do you know anything else about the Death Claw? I know this old mutant in Old Town named Harold. He's seen it. He's the only one that's seen it and lived. The only one that's seen it and lived? Uncle Slappy over in Old Town talks about it sometimes, but he's just a crazy old fool. Thanks, I'll check it out. Bye. Actually, let's see what she can... Let's see what she's got in her stock. Uh, 
have some knives, armor, armor. What's this? Club. Spear, sledgehammer, pistol, crowbar, some brass knuckles, grenades, knives, throwing of the throwing variety, some machine gun, some 223, which I think I got plenty of. Got some shotgun shells, which I might purchase, and some caps. What we got for shoddy 320. I want to hold on to that. That is a whole lot of goodness. I mean, that's 5,200. That could clear out a whole store just by dropping that on somebody. Okay. And a combat knife and some BBs. Why not? Why not round out ye old stock with some BBs? Alright, let's go see if we can find this Harold and Uncle Slappy. I wonder why they call him Uncle Slappy. I have a feeling it's probably because he doesn't slap people. My guess, and this is just a guess, I think he has a compulsive masturbation problem. Or maybe he's just been slapped around a lot. It could always be that. Alright, let's see what we got here. Taicho, what are you doing, bud? Alright, let's see. I think this is... Let's go in here and see what we got. Let's open this door. Okay. A little stairwell here. Let's save it. lock. There we go. I was worried about that. But all's well that ends well, right? Let's pick this lock. Run in here. Yep. Oh yeah, our combat armor is just stopping this stuff willy-nilly. Let's see if this is locked. It is. Now we're gonna pick it. I don't care what you say, computer. All right, let's roll on into here. Let's talk to this guy because he looks like he's in the. You can always tell how important they are because all everybody else is wearing. When these guys got leather, ar even the leather armor is actually better. For some reason, they always portray like the badass hero. Aha. Uh -huh main guy in a leather jacket, even though the leather armor is better. Don't know why. Loxley. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. I'm rather impressed. Toss me your name. I'm Albert. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, actually. For now. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of, shall we? What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? I want to join the circle. Oh, how nice. A joiner. Well, you've worked hard enough for a look-see. But if you really want to join, then you'll have to take the second test. Uh, what was the first test? I haven't figured it out yet, have we? The first test was just getting here. That's the only reason I'm considering you. What's the next test? It's so, so simple. In the Heights, you'll find Darren Hightower's home all plump and ripe for the picking. Are you ready for life? Do you accept the challenge? I'm ready. That's the spirit, mate. Just talk to Jasmine in the room outside this chamber. She'll give you details, a map, and a few little goodies to help you on your way. But remember, if you even think about ratting us out to the cops, we'll be a memory before they arrive. But enough gloom. Cheerio, good luck, and ta-ta. All right, Taicho, you're killing me, buddy. You big lug. Who's Jasmine? There's Jasmine. Welcome to the Circle of Thieves. I'm Jasmine. I'm here to help you 
make your infiltration of the Darren Hightower estate as painless as possible. Hightower's estate is located in the Heights. It has a minimum of two guards on duty at all times. The necklace is probably in a strong box, which often have some minor traps, so be careful. Here are some lock picks and a couple of flares to make your job a little easier. And a bottle of Nuka-Cola. Try not to kill Mr. Hightower. He's one of our favorite people. You got all that? What do you mean by favorite? Well, he's been our benefactor on many occasions. If you kill him, someone smarter may take his place. We wouldn't like that. Alright, let's roll. Let's make sure. I mean, now I have two sets of lockpicks, so that's just downright silly. And some flares and a Nuka Cola. I don't really know what that's gonna do for me in terms of robbing a house, burglaring a premises, but, you know. All right, so I know we're getting late into the episode here, but I want to get all this nonsense wrapped up. So I want to get kind of prepped up in this episode, and then, who's this guy? Slappy. All right. So we'll leave him here. Come on, Slappy. Get the F out of my way, bruh. And we have Harold. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> How about five bucks? Oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. You're welcome. God damn you. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything I can do for you? I need info. What's your story? The whole thing? Well, well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> long time. Tell me more about those days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Where was your vault located? You know, <coughs> I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, east? Oh, I don't know. I... <laughs> What did you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. <coughs> How? Uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Where were the mutants coming from? Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the northwest. Did you explore that area? We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray. Led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. And what was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. What were you running up against? Robots and such. A lot of them. Damn surprised they were still running after all this time. What with the war and all. Whew, boy, they tore us a good one. What did you do once you got past the robots? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And then? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. What happened then? then? It was just me and Gray. What happened then? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. And you never saw Gray again? No, you idiot! I just said I never saw him again, didn't I? <laughs> How did you survive? Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. 
Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. How did you mutate? All I know is it was something inside that base. Do you think it could have been radiation? How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Thanks for the story. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Alright, one last little uh, thing. Hey, it's you again. Anything I can do for you? I need info on the Death Claw, and I hear you're the man. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? If it catches up with me, I want to know what to do. Okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Any weaknesses? Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. What kind of problem? You can't look at them. It is said the Death Claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Great, Good luck thanks. To you. You're gonna need it. Could be. All right, and I think that'll be just as a fine a place as any to cut off the episode. We got Uncle Slappy out here looking for his banky. And, um, you know, maybe we'll go talk to him at the beginning of the next episode. But, you know, or maybe we'll just bust a cap in his ass. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't, I don't play that game. I don't play that shit. Um, but yeah, we got Harold. He is a steady in the Fallout universe. He appears, I think, in... Uh, just about every iteration. I do know he appears in Fallout 2 and 3. So, give me the sugar, baby. Alright, whatever, Slappy. I gotta go, Slaps. Uh, thank you again for joining me, and I will see you again next time.